be no need of tinkers. That's right. I tell you, bastard, the art of war is no use because your knights are no good for real fighting. That's right. If he is not a gentleman, I do not care whether he is honest or not. I should not let his son marry my daughter. Oh, no. Oh. And that's the test, Mom. That's the test. <laughs> do you think I have never been in love with wonderful men? <laughs> Heroes, archangels, princes, sages, even fascinating rascals, and have the strangest adventures with them. Do you know what it is to look at a mere real man after that? A man with his books in every corner, and his smell of his tobacco in every curtain? If I am to be a mother, I cannot have a man expecting me to be a wife at the same time. Art for me to the mere schooling of a faculty, and religion for me to the mere excuse of laziness, is it has set up a god who looked down on the world and thought it was good against my instinct to look on the world and see that it could be improved. There you go. Uh, shut me up in the light of the sky and the sight of the fields and flowers to chain my feet so that I may never again ride with the soldiers nor climb the hills so that I may breathe and bow down darkness and take away everything that drives me to the love of God and for your wickedness and foolishness. That I'm held up in the public court for cruelty and adultery, and I'm turned away from Edith's wedding by Alice, and lectured by you. Oh. A bachelor, and a precious green one at that. What do you know about it? Good, there you go. All right, very nice.